Kershaw here, you're going to see this, this dynamic of what I'm talking about within, you know, leveraging and the utilization of like the back of the scaps, you know, as much as possible through equal opposite glove side, um, arm action, reaction, action, reaction. I guess that's what they call it. So Kershaw's not short arm, right? He doesn't like stay in elbow flexion, like matches glove side, gets a lot of elbow extension here. But now you're going to notice that the glove side, the glove side extension is something that allows his trunk rotation mechanics to be precise with the timing of it. Okay, so then the, the, you're going to see the back foot peel off. The hips are going to internally rotate. And now the throwing arm is going to get into the retraction. I think that's pretty common for anyone that's going to be throwing. But we also want to get that glove side into a little retraction too to stretch the pecs, right? So we get that pec, pec stretch and we can get into our scaps, turn off the traps. That rhymed. Um, and, and really leverage as we go into our rotation, right? So then here's the picture. The hand just comes up. Glove side's kind of pulling that, that pec stretch. So you have the stretch from hip shoulder separation and the segmentation there. Then you have the stretch from the pec. So you're creating all of this, right? Like a rubber band. You're creating all these stretches. And then it's just about positioning and timing. So you position accordingly and then you just snap, right? You snap the, the stretch, you, you launch the stretch um, and you see the arm being pulled through. The arm being pulled through by all this energy allows for a deeper state I would say deeper state of layback, which is more just tip of the whip type stuff. And then you get to see, you know, here in this picture, the amount of extension that his throwing arm is getting. You can see the shoulder of the throwing arm is well in front of the shoulder of the glove side. And that's just a byproduct, in my opinion, of all of the series of events that happen in the back, right? All the things that happen in the front, or sorry, the, the tail end of the delivery for me are just byproducts of just optimal movements and sequencing in the in the early stages of the delivery um sticking to kershaw here uh, uh, going back to that initial move kind of that tempo you know everyone thinks kershaw kind of moves slower at a leg lift but you know if this was his real leg lift here look at the amount of forward acceleration or forward momentum he gets as he separates his hands right there's no point in which he's trying to move slower he's loading and driving you know, but he's still getting his momentum going forward. He still has great tempo.